On Friday, August 11th at around 10.30 p.m., a call of shots fired came across the police radio. The location of the shots fired were coming from the 900 block of Carpenter Street in Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood on the south side. Moments later, another call followed. A three-car accident just happened at the intersection of 74th and Morgan. When Chicago police arrived on the scene and talked to witnesses, some of the witnesses said they heard the shots fired, then a man came speeding through the light, striking two other vehicles, then the driver bailed out of the car and ran. Chicago police quickly put out an all-points bulletin on the suspect. Ten minutes later, the driver was captured and brought back to the scene to be identified and then was promptly arrested. A gun was found in the vehicle the suspect was driving. No one was shot at the targeted Carpenter address, just some homes were hit by the gunfire. Multiple people were injured in this crash and taken away by ambulance. The officer in charge of this crime scene took to the radio in search of a locked transport gun box. It seems as though the 7th District ran out of these gun boxes due to the massive amounts of guns they have been taking off the streets in this district. Dispatch called to surrounding districts with no luck. So a sergeant took possession of the weapon and brought the weapon to the 7th District. There also seems to be a shortage of shell casing markers and crime scene tape. Officers always seem to be in search of these items. It seems to this reporter the Chicago Police Command was unprepared for the unforeseen violence presently plaguing the bloody streets of Chicago.